Hello gorgeous, I am back today with a little bit of a Valentino haul for you. So every week my daughter and I have our, what we call them at our, is our weekly feminine dates and we usually go out and do a little bit of shopping, have some lunch or dinner and just sort of like spend the day together talking and shopping and doing girly and fun things. So we just got back and Alina is downstairs showing all her stuff to her brothers and I thought I would come over here and show you guys my stuff before I took it out of the bags. So I'm going to put down my drink. I was just getting a little refreshed after a long day of shopping. And then I'll show you what I got. So I'm actually going to start with um, this bag first. One of these items I actually had ordered with my amazing essay at Valentino Houston Galleria Mall. His name is Parker in case any of you guys want to go shop with him or even to have items shipped to you. He is really amazing at texting you back and letting you know what's on stock and ordering it for you and all that yummy stuff. So one of these items he already was holding for me that I had ordered and the other one I just fell in love with while I was there. So I'm not sure which is which. So I'll pull out. Okay, so I know which is which now. This is the one I had originally ordered and I will go ahead and show you that first. I'm super excited about this purchase and I'm sure you can already tell what it is. Ta-da! So you guys know I have a like certified obsession with belts. The funny thing is I grew up like hating belts. I just thought belts were super masculine because I thought you had to wear them well where men wear them. I never realized that you could use them to cinch, cinch in your waist at like a higher level in a very feminine way with dresses and oversized sweaters and things like that. So I've only discovered this for a couple of years but I have gone insane with my designer belts. Um, you guys know I don't spend like a ton of money on clothes so I can like buy you know a very basic dress and then just like dress it up with these fun little accessories. You will also be shocked to know that I never had a gold belt. You know I love gold and so I texted Parker and I said hello why don't I have a gold belt? I've got a silver belt, I've got red, I've got like every color and so he found this belt for me it's a very, very metallic gold color. In fact, it's so metallic and gold that I was a little concerned that you can chip it or like mess it up, but he did remind me that the shoe place that he sent me to a couple times to have my like soles redone also does like these kind of things. So they will be able to like make it all new if that were to happen. It is reversible and the other side is black, which I do have a lot of black belts, but it's always nice having that option. So I'm super excited to have this as part of my belt family. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one away. And this one, I just kind of fell in love when I was there. Was not planning on getting a second belt but hear me out when you see this you will know why i had to get it oh it's brand new okay so it's got all of the packaging still on it i'm super excited about this one look at this buckle i don't know if it's gonna do it justice on camera I, i'm sure my ring light is like just washing it out but it's like very blingy and like very diamond and this side of this one is cream and the other side i believe is navy blue yes the other side is navy blue and here's the best part you know how i have in the same size the red with the black back well i can switch out this same um logo and put it on my red belt as well or or the black one so i actually have like four different variations now i've got black uh, navy and cream and red and black and I can switch out the medallions for each or either one and create like multiple looks. I have been adding more neutral colors to my wardrobe especially because I never knew what neutrals I'm supposed to be wearing based on my my skin tone but since I've had my color analysis done and I'm building my wardrobe more intentionally around the colors I'm supposed to be wearing hence you see me wearing a lot of like my colors brown is definitely one of my colors so um my 
white is supposed to be like an off-white, like a cream or an ivory muted white. It's not like that stark white white. That does not work for with my skin tone. So I've got this ivory one now, which I'm really excited about. I hope that you guys can see how blingy this is. I think you get the picture. Get super blingy in real life. Super excited about that one. Okay, then this purchase, the next one, I definitely wasn't thinking I was gonna find this at Valentino, but this is a purchase I've been looking for a while to make. And I was open to brands, but I'm super excited I was able to find it at Valentino. Let me show you. story before I show you the only sort of like handbag hole in my closet meaning like something that I'm really missing from my handbag collection was a like hand carry tote type of bag something that would be also used as a briefcase I used to have a Louis Vuitton one that I loved and used for many many years but I just wanted something not with so many logos on it anymore it was more of that monochrome, monochrome print. So I ended up selling that one a couple of years ago. And since then, I've been looking for a replacement, but there was always something I felt like I was compromising. Um, the closest one I could find that I liked in that style was by Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent YSL. But still, it was like something with that bag was, I kept going back and forth. It wasn't like a, yes, I've got to have it kind of purchase. You know what I mean? And if I'm like, skeptical about a purchase is typically not gonna be a good purchase for me when I just know when there's like no doubt in my mind that's when I know that's gonna be a really great purchase so this bag I actually ended up trying in Hawaii when I was there uh, for my in-person intensive and when I tried it on there they only had it in the large size which was like a piece of luggage on my petite small frame or they had the mini size, which did not serve as a briefcase, which is what I'm trying to use this for. When I walked into Valentino today and I told Parker that I'm looking for this like briefcase style, I'll show you in a minute and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He's like, I have the perfect bag for you and it's the perfect size. And I didn't even know this bag came in this size and he said it didn't, it just was released now. So I am so super excited and it was in the exact color that I wanted okay it's got like all this random packaging on it let me like make it pretty ta-da here it is it's an ivory and I don't know the name of this bag it just says medium double-handed bag um, but it is, it's a new addition to their like sort of bag family. And there's, like I said, there's three sizes. There's a ginormous big one that honestly looks like luggage on my frame. And then there is a mini, but I needed exactly this size and it is so perfect. It's, it has that like sweater kind of um, closure, which I actually like. And inside, oh, it also comes with an additional strap. I mean, don't think I'm going to be using it as like a shoulder bag, but it's good to have that option if you're traveling with it. The inside is completely like lined with suede. It's got a ton of pockets. It's got this one. It's got a couple of card pockets here. On this side, it has a zippered pocket. It is just so luxurious. The leather is just so supple and buttery soft. It is exactly what I was looking for in a bag. I mean, it's, it also has feet. I just can't talk enough about it because it's like I dreamt up a bag and then they released it. That's just what it is. Super excited about it. I will be using this uh, for my next in-person intensive. By the way, that is happening on January 16th. It's our fifth annual New Year in-person intensive. I'm planning something super fabulous for the pre-launch party it's like the pre-intensive party that I always do with my intensive, well not always, but I try to do something like a meet and greet um, that's like super fabulous. Last time, which was a few weeks ago, we ended up doing it at Cartier in Houston River Oaks. This time I'm planning something even more fabulous. I know, you think, how are you gonna outdo Cartier? I've got something really special up my sleeve. So 
Um, I'm gonna be carrying this for that intensive and I have like this perfect outfit planned and everything. So that is, um, oh, by the way, if you want to sign up for that, we still have about 40% of seats open and they sell out fast. Every year that I launch these intensives in persons, they sell out quicker and quicker and quicker. We actually oversold the last one by a couple of spots we oversold hawaii by a couple of spots i don't always have a lot of wiggle room because it depends on the room that we've booked so if this is calling out to you i will link the rebirth 2023 intensive in the description box there is a payment plan also available for those of you guys that really want to be there and then the last thing i got is i was looking for this particular type of skirt and I actually got five but the two of them they're shipping to me because they didn't have my size and I just wanted something that was very sort of like classic hugs the body with a little bit of slit I'm recreating my wardrobe based on my personal style and my colors and my kibby style which is I'm a theatrical romantic so I'm trying to find items that really suit my delicate um you know hourglass shape and my coloring and everything like that so i was able to get a couple of the skirts that sort of were in my mind to create this really next level dream wardrobe i have this fabulous girls brunch coming up next saturday you guys know who you are i'm super excited to be hanging out with you and having this beautiful brunch so i will definitely be creating a whole look with my new belts and my new bag and things like that and that's what I always say that your wardrobe should be 60% of the lifestyle that you actually have so that you're using all of your items and you have something to wear for every event and 40% of it should be your manifestation like your vision board. So for me, I started shifting my wardrobe and 60% of it was based on my current lifestyle and the 40% was like calling in the next level friendships and girls night out and more in-person things with my students and clients and so when I started shifting my wardrobe those opportunities actually showed up that's how you use your wardrobe your car your handbags your jewelry and your entire life like your home everything as a 5D vision board. I've been talking about this to you guys for years and I make sure that every single item in my life is actually a part of my vision board and it's like calling in new blessings in my life. So if you'd like to learn more about this, I will definitely link all of my manifestation courses down below. I have so many manifestation courses. A great one to start with, I would say, is the Law of Attraction Master Class. It's a great entry level. It is bonus in if you buy the basic big bundle, but you can also get it separately. It's an hour and a half class on getting you started on manifestation law of attraction and also shares the science behind how all of that works as well so I hope you great uh, enjoyed my my little haul and unboxing let me know which one was your favorite item uh, from my unboxing today and I'll link all the links that I mentioned in the description box I love you and I'll see you in the next one bye